So today I'm talking about a P0011 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0011 code? Well, it's an A camshaft position timing over advanced or system performance bank one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called a camshaft position sensor that's monitoring the camshaft as it spins. And for some reason, this sensor is reporting back to the computer that the timing's off on that camshaft for some reason. But so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine and like firing order or cylinder location or something like that, and you find the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one and the opposite would be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there only be one bank. Also, depending on the engine, there could be what's called dual overhead cams or single overhead cams. And basically a single overhead cam engine is only going to have one cam on each bank of the engine. But a dual overhead cam engine is going to have two camshafts on each bank of the engine. And if you do have a dual overhead cam engine, camshaft A is going to be on the intake side and camshaft B is going to be on the exhaust side. So when you get this P0011 code, the first thing to do would be to find bank one side of the engine and camshaft A is going to be on the intake side of the engine. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0011 code? Well, the first thing to do when you get this code is go check the engine oil. Be sure it's not really low or it's not really dirty or anything like this because low or really dirty engine oil can affect what's called the variable valve timing, which many vehicles have these days. And if the engine oil is really low or it's really dirty, then that can throw off that variable valve timing and that could cause issues. So first thing to do is be sure the engine oil is not really low or really dirty. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on with one of the variable valve timing components. And like I said before, many vehicles nowadays, they have this variable valve timing system. Sometimes it can be named differently, but the system is going to be very similar. And this is a very good system. It can help the vehicle get better power at different RPMs. It can improve gas mileage and different things like this. And basically, it can adjust the timing while the engine's running and help improve performance. But if there's an issue with it, then it can cause problems. And this is going to include things like the variable valve timing solenoid on bank one camshaft A. It's also going to include the wiring going to the variable valve timing. And it also includes what's called a phaser or an actuator. And basically these phasers or actuators, they're mounted directly in front of the cam. And it's what the timing chain or timing belt right on. Oil flows into this actuator, which can adjust the timing. How much oil is going into that actuator or the pressure is controlled by the solenoid. This is why low or really dirty engine oil can affect this because it's all working from engine oil. Usually if there is some kind of problem with the variable valve timing component, you're gonna get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0010 code, A camshaft position actuator circuit open bank one, then it's gonna be a good idea to go test that variable valve timing solenoid, check out the wiring, the phaser or the actuator, things like this. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue with the variable valve timing. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad timing chain or timing belt. And basically the engine's gonna have timing marks and they all need to line up or it can throw everything off. It could cause issues. For example, right here, here's a timing mark, here's a timing mark, and here's a timing mark right here. And if the timing belt or timing chain slips a notch and this mark is a little bit before or a little bit after where it's supposed to be, then that can throw everything off and that can cause problems. Usually when there is some kind of timing belt or timing chain problem, usually that causes a lot of other problems. You'll be getting like a lot of other codes and things like this. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad timing chain or timing belt. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And basically there might not be no problem, but the computer thinks there is since that camshaft position sensor is just sending it bad information, bad data. So the computer thinks there's a problem when there isn't. And this is going to be the camshaft position sensor on bank one camshaft A because each camshaft is going to have its own sensor. But usually when that sensor goes bad, you're going to get another code. So for example, you might also get like a P0016 code, crankshaft position, camshaft position, correlation, bank one, sensor A, or something along those lines. So if you are getting other codes like this, it's a good idea to go test that sensor and be sure it's working correctly. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0011 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe and have a good day.